2014, my mates and I went away on a boys golfing weekend in a little town called South Broome, which is in the south coast of Durban. And this is the story of a prank that Rhino and myself pulled on bear and fly. The logistical problem is that I live in Cape Town, the three other guys live in Johannesburg. The plan that we put together was for me to fly from Cape Town to Durban, two hour flight, three of them drive from Johannesburg to Durban, six hour drive. They would in turn collect me from Durban Airport, which is King Sharker Airport. I would get in the car, drive with them, about an hour and a half drive from Durban down to South Brim. So that was the plan. So a bit of history on our friendship. All those years ago we created the little institution amongst us and we named ourselves the Animal Kingdom. I got the nickname of the bird. Rhino is Rory, uh, Tom the fly and John is the bear. The four of us have known each other for the better part of 30 years. Uh, we all come from the same town called Germiston hence the friendship that, that started many years ago. Whenever we get together on these boys weekends, there's always some sort of shenanigans that we play with one another and that's all part of the fun of our friendship. Uh, we call them a whammy. The whammy that Fly, Bear and Rhino were going to pull on me was that Rhino had a radio interview and could not make the weekend. Fly and Bear would pick me up at King Sharker Airport, drive out of the airport a few kilometers down the road. They would stop and ask me to get a beer or whatever it was out of the trailer. I would open the trailer and Rhino would be in the trailer. Big whammy, this was their plan. But. Rhino and I had a double whammy up our sleeves. And this is how it goes. Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Like a poor man or the female. man. The G man. This is the three man. For the rest of the day. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. Have yourself a fat jaw. We're going to have a fat jaw. Fat jaw. No fat jaw. Give me the life. No. Gold people go home. <laughs> <laughs> So, at this point, and unbeknownst to Fly and Bear, I had in fact flown up to Johannesburg. I had seen Rhino the day before, and we had put our plans in place with his fiance Donna. They've subsequently got married, by the way. And uh, we had set the ball in motion. Rhino had slept over with Fly and Bear the previous night just to alleviate any suspicion because the boys are always a bit wary about what's happening, is there a whammy? So we had to keep things very tight. I had slept in a Formula One hotel, got my tools and makeup ready. Yes, you heard right, makeup. And uh, we were all set for the morning. Away we go, huh? Yeah. Let it record. Let it record. Let it record. Yeah. Right, bird. The part that you're missing out on, and um, well, because you want to fly, to yeah. Yeah, fly to no, I want to fly. I want to fly. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you in the trailer. Ciao. Cheers. So, as you can see, the boys are all happy and excited about the trip. And uh, at this point in time, Donna has assisted me with my makeup. We've taken another route around and she's going to drop me off in the little town of Villiers on the M3 at the one stop. And we've arranged with Rhino to meet there. And yeah, let's see what transpires. Nice one, bird. Um... I had kind of the feeling that would be the highway you'd end up on. So, I've managed to stall, pump tires, get a cold coffee, I mean, you get a hot coffee at um, Bonjour, just past Leondale. And um, 
I'm hoping you can catch up, buddy. And we'll see you a little bit later. Everything is going according to plan. Alles van der West, is it? So as Murphy's Law would have it, Donna and I get on the wrong road. Anyway, we do our thing and we find a route, the shortest cut. All the while I'm texting Rhino where we are at. And Rhino is pulling in all the stalls that he could. In fact, after the whole episode, I heard the story about how Rory had this very upset stomach and had to continuously stop at every single stop to relieve himself but it was all just a stall tactic so well done to you eh, Rhino. I must also just throw in at this point that this took like three months of planning. Rhino and myself had chatted immensely on the strategic aspect of this venture that we were putting ourselves into and there's a lot of finer little details that had to be on point otherwise this uh, whammy would never have worked. So the boys were having a fantastic trip and everything was going according to plan from their point of view. Rhino then had to have his last little relieving of his system, just stalling for time. I had just texted him as Donna had dropped me off in the spot. So let's pick it up as they just about to pull out of the one stop where I'm just on the other side as you take the on-ramp onto the highway. Check it out. A last final text coming from Rhino just to let me know that he's on his way. What happened? They changed the thing we bought. With starting it again, it kicked out. Here comes they swing low, and the trumpets they go. Okay, how's the trailer behind? Right. Feels alright. Check like with a shit and check the. So it's obvious that the boys are like not happy about this setup. Um, so I'm stranger now that Rhino is wanting to give a lift to. Rhino is upsetting the apple cart with a nice trip down to Durban. <laughs> and some strangers getting into the car. The interesting point is what Rhino and I had done was we had thought this through. We had created a little card that was sitting on my chest that read mute. 
So that was key because if I opened my mouth it would have given the whole thing away. The other thing that I had done was I had manufactured a plastic nose that I had read up on YouTube and uh, bought the respective products from a makeup company and also the rest of the makeup. There was a wig on me, I put on a jacket, I had a big pillow in my stomach. So it was the real deal. I put cotton wool into my mouth, puffed up the cheeks and the whole scam was that I was mute and they weren't sure if I could hear or talk or if I was actually a little bit of a scaly kind of character. So let's pick it up. Boston Strangler to me. <laughs> oh, I don't know, you're gonna me. Let me put him behind me. Put him behind me, bro. Get him and put him in the trailer, buddy. Why not? Yeah. You can test the trailer out if you want. Yeah. Let him test the trailer out for you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You should be sitting on the side. Yeah? You should be sitting on the side. Why? Wow. There's no room in the legs down the bottom. Let him all the stuff. Let him lift up. Yeah. Watch that coffee doesn't stand here, buddy. Stand it up properly. Wash the f***ing beers, take the beers in the boot. So at this point, Bear actually suspects a whammy. But then the funny part is where Bear checks back at Fly and says, Hey Cliff, feels a little bit uneasy and says, Nah. <laughs> okay, this is where we He's like a bird in disguise. Or? What? Bird in disguise. We had prepared two letters. First one we produce now, and you'll see the next one. After that, it was plain sailing for a hundred kilometers. <laughs> Take a look at Fly at the back, having a sneak peek at Be Not Fury and Sunblast, having a good look.
<laughs> the boys have totally forgotten about the GoPro on the dashboard and this was quite a key element. It was just sitting there and they'd forgotten. The trip, the trip was a little bit somber in a way. It was not the height at the beginning of the trip, that's for sure. And then we started to approach Warden. And as we got closer to Warden, so the tempo started to pick up and the chat started to get a little bit happier because now this Vinod Giri character was gonna get led out of the car. But have a good look and see how Vinod Giri slides Rhino another note as they are approaching into Warden. <laughs> and this note changes things just a little bit. We need this phone before this out the car. Yeah. Okay. 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 My humble apologies, I meant to say Warden Road, Ramsgate. Uh, no. Not the Not the Not the Not the Can't help you, pal. Nobody. Got it. the rear view of the window you can see Vinod Giri getting onto the back of the trailer. The At this point, Bay is not sure if you should get out of the car or stay in. The fly has taken Vinod Giri's bag all the way down to the bottom of the road. <laughs> At this point, I couldn't hold it in any longer. I just burst out laughing. Stand by. The reveal is just about to happen. Just go in! 
Another letter telling us he wants to go to Ramsgate. Are you so that's all folks i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did editing it and if you did please give us a like below and until the next time cheers for now <laughs>